most of you in the hall will have um, uh, either in your own hands or in the hands of the person next to you a copy of the terms of reference of the visitation because I, I do want to refer to them. And one of the difficulties that we have with the uh, visitation is that we don't really know what the underlying intention of Bishop Tim is. Uh, very little has been said uh, publicly, uh, although the Bishop has said privately to at least uh, some of the clergy that the Jersey canons cannot remain in place. The uh, Jersey uh, 2012 canons, which replaced the 1623 canons, were some 15 years in the making and were the result of long discussions between Bishop Michael, uh, the Dean, um, the Attorney General of the day, and many others too. So it does seem surprising that uh, when the ink on the canons is scarcely dry, uh, there is a suggestion that the um, substance should be looked at again. And the lack of clarity about the uh, purpose of the visitation results not only from what um, Bishop Tim has not said, uh, but also from what he has said. On the 18th of March, there appeared a notice on the diocesan website stating that the bishop had appointed Bishop John Gladwin um, to, and I quote, lead the forthcoming safeguarding inquiries in Jersey. On the 26th of March, another press release um, uh, on the website announced that it was to be not just an inquiry, but a safeguarding visitation, uh, which would, and again I quote, consider the implementation of safeguarding in Jersey and across the diocese. Now, curiously, the um, terms of reference uh, which have been given to Bishop Gladwin um, restrict him to uh, visiting the uh, parishes of the Deanery of Jersey. But what is more important about the terms of reference is the emphasis which seems to be placed on the constitutional relationship between Jersey <coughs> and Winchester rather than safeguarding. The first matter in paragraph 3, which sets out the terms of reference, is a constitutional matter. The visitation is to provide, and I quote, for clarifying and describing the legal, ecclesiastical and practical nature of the relationship between the Deanery of Jersey, the Diocese of Winchester and the wider Church of England, including the roles of the Bishop of Winchester, the suffragan bishops, the archdeacons, diocesan staff, the deans and vice-deans of Jersey, and the ecclesiastical courts of Jersey, and so on. And then the visitation is to make recommendations, as may be necessary and uh, expedient. Now the Bishop of Winchester is, of course, perfectly entitled to establish a visitation and to set its terms of reference. Um, if, however, it is to examine constitutional matters, it would have been preferable, I believe, for the authorities in Jersey to have been consulted beforehand. We have had a special relationship attached to Winchester, uh, which has lasted for more than 500 years. Uh, we have no idea whether the bishop has in mind some minor tweaking of the canons, and it must be said that some tweaks are necessary, or if he seeks a major realignment of the relationship between the Deanery of Jersey and the Diocese uh, of Winchester. In a trusting and open relationship, one would not expect to be placed in such a position. And that is essentially why this meeting has been called. The only major differences between the canons of the Church of England uh, and the Jersey canons, the canons of the Church of England in Jersey, relate to two things which uh, seem to many of us uh, very important. Uh, one mustn't think that the canons of the canons in Jersey are something completely different uh, from the canons uh, which <coughs> operate in England. In substance, uh, they are very similar. But there are two 
uh, uh, important differences. The first is the position of the ancient ecclesiastical court in Jersey, with its jurisdiction over the clergy and uh, lay officers of the church and over faculties and such like. The second is the unusual relationship between the ancient parish churches and the civil authorities in the parish and the intertwining of functions that we all know about. The parish church is owned as a matter of law by the parish, but in effect it is owned by the people of the parish in trust for future generations. Other denominations may worship elsewhere, but all parishioners, uh, whether Anglicans, Methodists or Freethinkers, have a stake in it. It is the parish church. Now, whether Bishop Gladwin understands this, uh, I do not know. Having um, an ecclesiastical court in uh, Jersey, as we have had for many centuries, means that we have responsibility for our own ecclesiastical affairs. If a clergyman or a church officer does something wrong, it doesn't often happen, but it has done in the past, uh, that uh, is dealt with in Jersey before our court. The clergyman or church officer is not hauled off to England to appear before an English ecclesiastical court with all the expense and inconvenience that that would involve, but he or she is dealt with in Jersey. And uh, any alleged offence would be dealt with under the law of Jersey and not under the law of England. But the link between the parish uh, and the, the parish church, the church in the parish and the civil parish is something that is really important. Uh, the parish in the Diocese of Winchester is an entirely different institution. Uh, the policy in the diocese, as I understand it, and those who know better may correct me if I've got this wrong, um, is uh, that uh, uh, there should be a reduction in the number of clergy, and to that end uh, it is necessary to close some parish churches. Now, it's not for me to comment on that policy in the diocese, but I'm quite sure that the possibility of closing one or more of the ancient parish churches in Jersey would be a prospect that would cause consternation. What is uh, in the diocese a simple matter of man management is in Jersey an issue that goes to the heart, the core of the relationship between uh, the Church uh, of England in Jersey uh, and uh, the uh, constitution of the island. We are, of course, part of the Church of England, but the deanery of Jersey is, uh, because of our history and heritage, in a special and different relationship with the diocese, very different from a rural deanery in the heart of Hampshire. I personally do not want that to change and it is something that is extremely important to me. And if Bishop Gladwin is willing to see me, um, I will certainly uh, pass that message on uh, to him. The uh, purpose of this evening is not really to listen to Canon Ashland and to me, uh, but to give members of the church the uh, opportunity to uh, express their views or indeed to ask, ask questions of either of us should anyone wish to do so. Um, before you do uh, uh, speak, may I ask you kindly to stand up to give your name and the church with which you are associated and uh, then we'll carry on from there. So thank you all very much.